Welcome to the video guys, it's back again, the weekly award show going through this week's collection of low lives and their outrageous behaviour that earns them a spot in this most prestigious award show. Now, for anyone new, to be nominated for this you simply have to act like a bit of a scumbag in the public eye or on social media, which let's be honest happens all the time. An example of this would be to act like the media or any politician from a political party in 2020 because let's be honest, this year they are setting the bar rather high. Now, as last Last week we will have a few winners in the lower tier category before we get to our top prize and announce this week's ultimate shit weasel of the week which given the nominations put in this week is not going to be easy so enough talking crap let's get stuck into this week's collection of low life shit weasels our first winner this week has to be the corbinated chicken for his ridiculous facebook statement in relation to the panorama program last year pointing out his failure to stamp out anti-Jewish hatred within the Labour Party and especially among his own supporters. The European Court of Human Rights investigated them over this, as we all know, making them the first party since the BNP to be investigated for racism and only the second in British history, yet they run around calling us all racist. You really couldn't make this shit up. Only the loony losers and demented spunk trumpets that make up Labour membership could actually do that. A mention should also be given to the Corbyn Easters who reacted to the backlash against Corbyn by telling him to start his own political party, showing us Joe Swinson levels of fantasy politics because Magic Grandpa suffered the greatest election defeat in 85 years under the Labour Party banner. So, as an independent candidate or leader of a new political party, the Corbynated chicken knows he will get humiliated again, much like Joe Swinson, Britain's next Prime Minister, did in December last year. So, I would say Magic Grandpa has once again earned this award today. Now, moving on to our second winner in the Shit Weasels of the Week category. Next up for Shit Weasels of the Week is the 12 jury members in the PC Harper trial that ended recently in the jury finding the lowlifes who killed this guy guilty of manslaughter, not murder. And to top that off, one female member of this jury was even caught flirting with the criminals to the point she was kicked out of the trial, which is rather incredible. Actually, it's completely batshit crazy. How fucked in the nut do you need to be to do that shit in open court with three boys that literally have nothing to offer the world? Either way, these idiots are deserving of the second award from this week's Shit Weasels of the Week category, I think you would all agree. So, let's move on to our third winner this week, and once again, a worthy entry into this week's award show, and that is the Mayor of Portland. This sorry sack of shit joined a virtue signalling matters protest in Portland like the complete cuck that he is, and even got tear gassed the complete and utter muppet. I do have to say, I laughed my ass off when I heard that he got tear gassed, but just attending it makes you worthy of this award today. He is, of course, on par with Sadiq Khan, which takes us nicely onto our next entry this week. You guessed it, it is Sadiq Khan, who, as I covered the other day, is bitching like a little girl because Boris Johnson won't give him inside information on what is going on because I guess this little shit weasel thinks he is special. Add to that the fact that he also got caught lying to Parliament and plans to beg Boris Johnson for more taxpayers' money like he hasn't had enough already. So, once again, Sadiq Khan ensures his place in this week's Shit Weasels of the week. Next up on Shit Weasels of the Week, we have Wiley, the rapper and MBE or member of the British Empire who went on a 20 odd hour Twitter rant against the Jews the other day, getting himself dropped by his management and ridiculed in the media and online. I think these Marxist BLM fanboys keep forgetting it's only okay to attack white people on Twitter in 2020. If he had remembered that, he would have been given a 10 year, 50 million pound recording contract and his own talk show on the ever woke BBC. But instead, he went full Nick Cannon and got himself cancelled. Really, this should surprise no one. He is a Corbyn supporter after all. So, once again, a 100% worthy winner this week. Our final entry into Shit Weasels of the Week, and very nearly winner of the Ultimate Shit Weasel of the Week award, is Pretty Piss Poor Patel for her inaction over the migrant boats floating over here multiple times a day. Her lips have been flapping like the clappers, but action has been non-existent. Couple that with the grooming gang report scandal, the Home Office's whitewash of it, and the diversity training she announced recently, Pretty Piss Poor Patel deserves this spot today. It's that bad, I really wanted to give her the win this week, and the amount of nominations you guys put in nearly forced me to do it, but in the end, someone deserved it more. 
There is no need to worry though, given how pretty Patel and this government have performed so far, I'm sure it won't be long before she is on the podium, along with other Tory MPs. When I think about it, Brexit is about the only thing they are actually doing some good on, from what I can see, so like I said, they will soon be taking the top spot, I am sure. Now obviously, there are many others who could have made it on here, but I don't want this video to be a 24 hour marathon. We know they are all shit weasels in their own right, and luckily for us, these scumbags will come back again, since it's in their nature to act like worthless tosspots. So, with that said, let's move on to the finale this week and announce our ultimate shit weasel of the week. Let me get the drum roll, please. Of course, it can only be Nicola Fish Lip Sturgeon and the deranged idiot Hamza Youssef for their North Korea style hate crime laws that are beyond ridiculous and could see people getting years in prison for having a meme on their phone or computer that might offend the perpetually offended. It is fucking incredible and has even got mainstream media outlets calling them out on it, which is a shock considering the media usually has its tongue rammed firmly up Nicola Sturgeon's ass. As we know, the BBC are guilty of this daily, but most are the same in regards to the SNP these days proving to everyone they are about as nationalist as the Liberal Democrats would be under the pansexual loser Leila Moron if she wins the leadership contest, which she likely will. Guys like Count Dankula, Tailed Feature and any other spicy boy up in Scotland is going to need refugee status in England because we Jimmy Cranky and her angry little men are going to come knocking with handcuffs ready to ship them off to the gulag. Now like I said earlier, I really wanted to give this week's victory to pretty piss poor Patel and the Home Office, but the SNP's actions here received more nominations than Pretty Patel and is going full China or North Korea on the Scottish people. Pretty Patel will still be there next week though as record numbers float in, I am willing to bet. Now before I go, thanks all for watching this week's episode and all who joined the live stream where I showcased the silver play button YouTube sent me for passing 100 subscribers on here. You guys actually earned this channel that award by hitting the subscribe button because as subscribers, believe it or not, you are the minority since over 60% of my viewers are not actually subscribed to the channel. This award is all down to you legends, so thank you all for the support. There is a pattern consistent throughout history of oppressed people turning on the oppressors. Slaves against their owners, the peasantry against the feudal barons, colonies, Mr. Verhofstadt, against their empires. And that is why Britain is leaving. And it doesn't matter which language you use, we are going and we are glad to be going. We're off. <laughs>